All Things Tech here and with the release of the iPad Air this week we thought we'd cover some of the specifications and benchmarks and really give ourselves a reason why we need to go out and purchase this machine. So firstly, 2mm thinner than the 4th generation but one of the big changes is the weight. They've managed to shave off almost half a pound of weight. Now that's similar to a DVD in its case. So this machine now comes in at just one pound. The iPad Air though is still a powerhouse of a machine. It carries the same A7 chip that is running in the iPhone 5S, but it actually runs faster. Now that will probably be due to the fact that it's got a larger battery or it's in a bigger body, so therefore can cool it better. I really like the fact that they've reduced the bezel around the edge, so we still get the same 9.7 inch screen, but the bezel now is 8mm thinner, which makes it look fantastic. So our friends over at Geekbench have already run this through their benchmarks, and it comes out 80% faster than the 4th generation model, but a whopping 5 times faster than the iPad 2. Now remember folks that the only two models there's going to be in 9.7 inch size will be the iPad 2 or the iPad Air. So 5 times faster for $100 more. That's why I'm buying it. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.